Assalamualaikum everyone. Hope you are enjoying our new series on molecular biology techniques. Today I am going to demonstrate you the complete scheme of DNA extraction protocol. For the sake of simplicity, the video is divided in two parts. Today's video is going to describe the preparation of solutions that are required to perform DNA extraction in the lab. But first, the most important thing. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe it now and press the bell button for updates on our latest videos. So let's start with the formation of solution A. The reagents we require to perform this solution are magnesium chloride, sucrose, tris base, triton 100x. First of all, clean the working bench with ethanol. Take a reagent bottle. For preparing 250 ml of solution A, put 100 ml of distilled water in a 250 ml reagent bottle. Now using a weighing balance, weigh out 0.25 grams of magnesium chloride and add it to the reagent bottle. Now weigh 27.3 grams of sucrose and add it to the reagent bottle. Now measure 0.32 grams of tris base and add it to solution bottle as well. Mix the reagents well by gentle shaking. Make sure all of the ingredients are well dissolved. A completely dissolved solution looks transparent, while a partially dissolved solution will appear turbid. By using a pH meter, now set the pH of the solution to 7.5 to 7.6. You may use concentrated HCl and 3 molars NaOH to set the pH. Finally, make up the final volume of the solution to 250 ml by adding distilled water and autoclave it to get rid of any contamination. After being autoclaved, add 2.5 ml of Triton 100x to this solution and mix it well. Then leave it for 15 minutes. Our solution A is ready to use now. Now to prepare the solution B, the reagents we require are tris base, sodium chloride, and EDTA. Take a reagent bottle. For preparing 150 ml solution B, pour 100 ml distilled water in a 250 ml reagent bottle. Now, by using a wing balance, weigh out 0.18 grams of tris and add it to the reagent bottle. Mm. 
Now measure 3.5 grams of sodium chloride and add this to the reagent bottle. Now weigh out 0.1 gram of EDTA and put it in that 100 ml distilled water containing reagent bottle. Mix the reagents well by gentle shaking until all the ingredients are well dissolved and look transparent. Now check the pH of this solution by using a pH meter and maintain its pH at 7.5 to 7.6. Once the pH is maintained, make the final volume of this solution to 150 ml. Autoclave this solution before using. After being autoclaved, we can use this solution before our extraction. Now we will discuss the preparation of solution C. The reagents we require to prepare the solution C are chloroform and isoamyl alcohol. For preparing 25 ml of solution C, pour 24 ml chloroform in a measuring cylinder and then transfer it to a 50 ml falcon tube. Now take 1 ml of isomyl alcohol by using a 1000 microliter pipette and pour it into the chloroform containing falcon tube and mix it well. Now solution C which looks transparent is ready to use. Now the next solution is solution D. PCI is also known as solution D and it is composed of three reagents phenol, chloroform and isoamyl alcohol. For preparing 50 ml solution D, first switch the lights off as these reagents are light sensitive then measure 25 ml phenol by using a measuring cylinder and add in the falcon tube. Now measure 24 ml chloroform by using a measuring cylinder and add in 50 ml of falcon tube. Now measure 1 ml isoamyl alcohol by using 1000 microliter pipette and pour it also in the falcon tube. As phenol and chloroform are light sensitive, so wrap this tube with aluminium foil. Plus, don't forget to prepare this solution in light free environment. Mix the solution thoroughly and leave it overnight. Within a day, you will be able to observe two distinct transparent layers of PCI. We will be using the bottom layer of PCI for our DNA extraction. Thank you so much. That's all for today. Stay connected for more informative videos. Allah Hafiz.